Biomagnification is a phenomenon that happens with certain toxic chemicals. It happens with the DDT family of chemicals and the PCBs, which are sort of in the same family. It happens with methylmercury, which is a form, a certain form of mercury. And what it is, is that uh, the chemical is in some very low quantity in the water, gets taken up initially into the single-celled plants called the phytoplankton, and then the phytoplankton get eaten by little animals called zooplankton, and the zooplankton will accumulate all the chemical from all the individual phytoplankton that it ate. So it ends up with a higher concentration than the phytoplankton did. And then the zooplankton get eaten by little fish. And the little fish hold on to all the molecules of all the little zooplankton that they eat. So it goes up the food chain that way. So that each level, if we go phytoplankton, zooplankton, little fish, middle-sized fish, big fish, at each level, there's greater concentration. And which fish do we eat? We don't eat the plankton. No, no, we eat the bigger fish. So the ones that we eat tend to be high up on the food chain, and they tend to be ones that will have the highest concentration. And of course, that we're on the top of the food chain, so we're ending up with more than the fish. So uh, some of the fish of concern in this regard, a tuna fish and swordfish, and possibly sharks, and not that many people are eating sharks, but um, tuna fish, there were, you know, I, I would say don't eat too much tuna fish. I wouldn't say avoid tuna fish, but don't eat tuna fish every day. Particularly pregnant women and little kids, um, alternate with peanut butter for the kids, you know, or whatever else. Uh, it, it's those fish that are the ones uh, that are, because being high in the food chain, being big and long-lived. I mean, the bigger you are, the more you eat, and the longer you live, the more you get.